Hello Vitepaws lover. Today I will show you admin settings in Vitepaws admin panel. Here you will get more interesting features and most customizable options. So without wasting time let's start. We see some tab option. Here we get basic setting, print setting, recapture version 3 setting, and license info. First we see the basic setting. In barcode field we can select product ID, SKU, and custom barcode. If you select product ID and SKU then the barcode will work by its ID and SKU. If you select custom barcode you have to give barcode in every single product. Barcode generator and scanner will not work when it will not found no barcode in product. Now here we select product ID. In offline order, if you select disable then you can't access the offline order process when you are offline. Select offline order enable. Here we see that offline order is enabled and we can make orders when we are offline. In pause login type, if we select WordPress login then it shows a WordPress login URL field. In this URL field, if you keep it blank then it auto selects the WordPress login URL. Let's see how it works. Here we see that WordPress login URL comes when I log out from Vite Pause. If you want, then you can give the custom login URL in the WordPress login URL field. Now we can see the custom login URL come when I log out again. In the pause login type, you can select also the Vite pause login. Here we can see the Vite pause login URL comes when I log out from Vite pause. In Paul's logo, you can upload the logo as you want. But recommend best size is 166 pixels in width and 60 pixels in height. Here we use the default logo so I remove the uploaded logo. We can change the Paul's color as we want. In Paul's link type, we see that here already have selected default, and also we see a link below. Open it in a new tab. Here we see it's a default link of Vite Pause. In Pause link type, if you select Page, then you have to select the page where you want to show Vite Pause. Now here we create a new page and link that page with Vite Pause.
Here we select Vite Pause page in the Pause page. Now go to the pages and visit Vite Pause page. That's all about the basic setting. Now go to the print setting. Here we see that options are shown on the left side and a preview is shown on the right side. If we change any option then it also changes in preview by that option. If your option setup is finished then click the save button and see the invoice. Now go to the recapture settings tab and enable the recapture switch. Here we have to give the site key and secret key. Log out from Vite Pause to check if ReCAPTCHA is enabled or not. Here we can see that ReCAPTCHA is enabled successfully. In the License Info tab, you will get some information about licensing. Here you see License Status, License Type, License Expired Date, Support Expired Date, License Key, and Deactivate Button. By clicking this button you can deactivate your plugin. By clicking on the Help tab, you will get more tab options. Here you will get Basic Help, About Vite Pause, and Contact Author. Here you can also active Dark Mode. If you click on View Pause, then it will take you to the Pause panel. That's all about the admin settings. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to get more updates.